praise God. Praise the Lord. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. We come before you, Father. Bow down. Friends, my name is Minister Robert Lee Williams from God's Miracle Ministry. The Lord has put this on my heart to bring this teaching to you. It's something that is a long time in coming. But I'm here to teach you true throne room worship. How to really worship God. And uh, I want to get started in today's teaching because this will be a tremendous blessing to you. It will really teach you how to really worship God the way that He wants to be worshipped. This is going to be a series of teachings on True Throne Room Worship. Tell your friends and family about it. Tell your pastor about it. Your praise and worship leader about it. Have them watch this video. And I thank you for coming. I thank the Holy Spirit for drawing you into this place to really get to know how to worship the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords, Yahweh, God the Father. Okay, let's get started in today's teaching. You are being elevated by Yahweh Himself to teach true worship. This is the highest calling one can receive in the kingdom. How do you know this? In heaven they worship non-stop before the throne. The very first instruction Moses received from Yahweh, God the Father, was how to offer up true and acceptable worship before the one and only living God. At that time only one priest from all the people were allowed to enter into the Holy of Holies to offer worship to the Most High. You are being called to that position. Your calling cannot be any higher Study well and show yourself approved. The war over true worship and to whom it was to be given started in heaven even before man was created. The word of God tells us Lucifer, who is Satan, was the most beautiful angel who led worship in the throne room. Pride entered into him, and he then desired to be worshipped himself instead of Yahweh. He and one-third of the angels were cast out of heaven to the earth. They, when they were to inhabit for set amount of time. Now the time now as the time is near that completion. We read in Revelation how the world is falling down on their face and worshiping the beast. As the judgment of God for all the earth is about ready to take place. One angel cried out with a mighty voice reverend God and give him all the glory honor and praise and worship for the hour of this of his judgment has arrived fall down before him and pay him homage adoration and worship him who created 
heaven and earth. Seas and springs, fountains of water. That was in Revelation 13, 7 out of the Amplified. Let me continue reading. This is one of the one of the two cries from God's angels to prevent judgment on anyone. Fall down and pay homage to the Most High that all they were asked to do. The second scripture reads, Who shall not reverence and glorify your name? O Lord, giving you honor and praise in a worship. For you are holy, for all the nations shall come and pay homage and adoration to you. For your just judgments have been made known. Revelation 14, 4 out of the Amplified Bible. Oh, praise you, Lord. This will be the final question for all of us. Who will not be willing to offer true worship that is acceptable in the sight of God? Worship that is according to his word and not according to the realistic dead traditions of men. The Lord is here to teach you how to really worship himself. How to, how to pay, how to, how to honor God, how to praise him like heaven does. We must learn this. Let me continue. The war of heaven and earth originally started over true worship. And here is where the war will be fought and ended. The separation will take place between those who choose to offer true and acceptable worship to Yahweh. God's name and those who refuse do not think I have come to bring peace to the earth I have not come to bring peace but I, but a sword his sword will be used to separate while there is a small window of time left teach those who have an ear to hear what the Spirit is saying, and also an eye to see what the Spirit is showing us. The time of the return of the Holy One is closer now than we can ever imagine. Think about that a little bit. Think about some of the videos that I have just put out and, and what the Lord has put out or with other prophets around the world about doom and gloom and destructions and God's judgment coming. Think about that. God loves you. I love you. I am a servant of the Most High God to hear, to teach you, and to teach myself even better true throne room worship. You know, God is awesome. God is a loving God. Oh, praise the Lord. You know, I want to tell you a little bit more. I'm going to continue on with this lesson. But God cares about you. God cares about you so much. 
He sent his son down here to die for you. I'm going to close this message and I'm going to go to part two. And, and part two will be our roots, the priesthood. We're going to learn about what the priesthood is. But now I just, the Lord just wants me to talk to you. He wants to talk to you. You know, because I pray that before this message even started that I would decrease and the Lord would increase. God is reaching out to all mankind from around the four corners of the world to come back to Him, to worship Him, to give your life as a living sacrifice unto Him. Because he is the creator. He created you. He created the earth. The sky. The sun. The moon. All creations that you've ever seen in your life. He has created these things. And all he wants you to do. Is to love him back. Fall down upon your knees or your face upon the ground and worship Him for who He is, for what He's done for you. That's right. What has God done for you over your lifetime? That's been pretty mighty. He has saved your life more than once, and you know it. Because God cares. He loves And I am here just to to show you just a little bit of that love. But God is here to show you all His love. People, this is important for this day and time. To worship God. To show Him how much do you love Him. Do you really believe in the living God? If you do, worship Him in spirit and in truth. I'm going to close for now, and I'm going to go right over in to the second teaching, part two. Our roots, the priesthood. Take care, and God bless, and I'll see you on the next video.